Guangzhou, obviously still in control of the point, have a couple of ultimates to use, but they haven't been forced to use them. That's the key difference between these two teams thus far. Glister's been hitting a, a crazy amount of shots, Ooh, and Krong, beautiful eat on the Blizzard. That's fantastic. That's the kind of clutch play you need if you're the Guangzhou Charge, and a four-man EMP comes straight back in. But Sanguinar, Goodbye. really nice reply, and Hylie also has his support on. Well, Glister actually did just break Rio's ankles, and I thought he was gone. I thought he was off the map, but... He uh, ended up working his way back to the rest of his team, and now we see the Coalescence being used by London. Eileen goes down from the Stray Moira Orb. Shu forced to use his Fade to try, try and get to safety, but Eileen finds another kill with the Moira Orb. He's getting all of these picks. I mean, I know who's getting a player of the game <laughs> at the end of it, isn't it? It's going to be Eileen oh, with these ones. Just, dude, he's just giving, giving him the beat kills. down. The you rest of the to London see Spitfire. It. I think the London Spitfire have got some kind of bet going where they're trying to feed highly <laughs> as many stat padding situations as they possibly can. I swear the rest of the London Spitfire were not shooting those players just so that highly could get the kill. That's amazing. Just trying to, just trying to charge up his uh, coalescence, coalescence maybe? I suppose. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's almost too high level. You know, some that really just is. want to that's secure the kill at that point.